Having been sent back in time by Princess Zelda after defeating the Gerudo King Ganondorf, Link, the hero of time, returned the Master Sword within its pedestal within the Temple of Time, only to be abandoned by his fairy companion Navi, who had been by his side since the beginning of his adventure. After informing past Zelda of what would transpire in the future and of Ganondorf's evil plans, and showing her the trifles of courage as proof of his claims, Link told Zelda that he had to leave Hyrule to search for his lost friend. Before departing, Zelda handed him the Ocarina of Time and taught him the Song of Time, a melody which would aid the hero in his long journey. While he wandered aimlessly through the enchanted forest, he was knocked out and robbed by the school kid, a mischievous imp who had previously stolen the powerful and wicked Majora's Mask from the Happy Mask salesman within the Lost Woods. After a desperate chase through the woods, Link fell down a giant hollow tree luckily landing onto a deco flower that saved his life. It was then that the school kid cursed Link into the form of a deco scrub and departed leaving behind one of his furry companions, Tato. Without any other choice, Tato joined Link as they both chased after the school kid and soon found themselves in the land of Termina, a parallel world to Hyrule, threatened to be destroyed by a crashing moon brought down by the school kid himself. Within the clock tower, they met with the Happy Mask salesman, who promised to return Link back into his regular form if he got back his stolen ocarina, in exchange for him retrieving his stolen mask. The downside was that he had to do it in three days, the exact time it would take for the moon to crash and destroy the world. As the Carnival of Time was on the eve of the third day, and the gate that led to the top of the clock tower only opened at that time, Link waited until that time to confront the school kid on top. Atop the tower, Tile, knowing the Skull Kid was taking things too far, told Link to awaken the four giants from the four corners of the world, which were Termina's last hope to stop the moon from falling. Link retrieved the Ocarina of Time from the Skull Kid, and with time running out, quickly played the Song of Time to return to the dawn of the first day. Although thrilled that Link got his Ocarina back, the Happy Mask salesman was enraged that he didn't obtain the mask. However, he kept his part of the deal and reverted Link back to his original form using the Song of Healing, leaving behind the Deku Mask, which allowed Link to transform into a Deku Sprout at any given time and pleaded to him to bring him back Majora's Mask. Link first heads to the Southern Swamp, home of the Deku tribe and governed by the Deku King, where he learns that a monkey had been held captive by the Deku after being falsely accused of kidnapping their princess not believing the monkey's words that she was actually captured by a monster within Woodfall Temple. After learning the Sonata of Awakening from the monkey, Link plays it to reveal the entrance to the Hidden Temple. Within Woodfall Temple, Link defeats the masked jungle warrior Odolwa and awakens the first of the four giants, who teaches him the Oath to Order to summon them at the end of the third day. Link then rescues the Deku Princess and takes her back to the palace, where she confronts her father and orders the guards to free the monkey. Link then makes his way towards the frozen Snowhead region in the north, home of the Gorons, which are faced with tragedy. Their beloved Goron warrior Darmani had recently been killed in his attempt to defeat the monster Gokht in the Snowhead Temple to save the Gorons from the perpetual winter created by the monster's curse. After obtaining the Lens of Truth, Link is able to see the spirit of the deceased Darmani and healed his soul, transforming his spirit into the Goron Mask, allowing Link to turn into a Goron at will. Link ventures within the Snowhead Temple and defeats Gok, breaking the curse set upon Snowhead and awakening the second giant. The third giant was located within the Great Bay, home of the aquatic Soras. Upon Link's arrival, he finds the dying Sora Mika washed ashore and heal his soul, transforming him into the Sora Mask. Mikao, the guitarist from the band The Indigos, attempted to recover the lead singer's Lulu's stolen eggs from the Gerudo Pirates, but was mortally wounded and left to die. The Sora are also suffering from a curse placed by the school kid, where the water temperature has been elevated, slowly killing all life in the ocean. After retrieving the stolen eggs, they form the notes of the new wave Bossa Nova a song that Link plays for Lulu, which in turn awakens the Great Turtle, who offers to take Link to the Great Bay Temple, where he faces the gargantuan masked fish, Gaio, restoring the temperature of the waters and awakening the third giant.
Link went to the Ikana Canyon, the once proud kingdom of Ikana, now a desolate wasteland inhabited by the undead. Link heads to the ancient castle of Ikana, where he defeats the undead king Igus Du Ikana, who teaches him the Elegy of Emptiness, a song that creates an empty shell of the one who plays it. With this song, Link would open the way to the Stone Tower Temple, defeating the giant masked insect Twin Mold and awakening the final giant. With all four giants awakened, Link played the Oath to Order in the Eve of the Third Day, summoning the giants which held the moon in place, preventing it from crashing into Clock Town. It is then that Majora's Mask disposed of the Skull Kid, referring to him as a mere puppet, and fled towards the moon, taking control of it directly to crush it down. As the giants struggled to hold it, Link followed Majora to the moon, where they had the final confrontation, which would decide the fate of Termina. After a long battle with Majora, which attempted to build a new body for itself, Link defeated the evil mask and saved Termina from destruction. With the evil within the mask destroyed, Link returned to the happy mask salesman as promised. The school kid, regretting all the evil deeds he had committed during his possession of the mask, was forgiven by the four giants. It is revealed that the Skull Kid was once friends with the four giants, but when the time came for them to leave to the four corners of the world, the Skull Kid felt betrayed and alone, until he met his two fairy friends. Having restored peace to Termina, Link mounted a pona and rode off into the Lost Woods, his fate remaining a mystery. We would see the Hero of Time once again in the era of Twilight, now in the form of the skeletal spirit donning a golden armor known as the Hero's Shade, sharing his sword skills to his direct blood descendant, the Hero of Twilight, implying that the Hero of Time did in fact return to Hyrule and became a Hylian Knight, where he lost an eye and died in battle. And that was the events that transpired directly after Ocarina of Time in the Child Timeline. If you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you haven't already, please consider following me on Twitter and Instagram at Seldolo86. This has been Seldolo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.